for those of you who are new here, my name's Tash and this is Annalise, known as Annie, and this is a Biz Kids lesson. They're all about teaching you guys some of the things you don't get to learn in school. Entrepreneurship, financial literacy, how to grow in your confidence and how to strengthen your mindset and all these things that you don't get taught in school. Today's lesson is on a theme called continuous improvement. Who knows what continuous improvement means? Put your hands up if you... Harley, what do you think it means? I think it means so you have... So you're being... So you're like making progress, but it keeps on happening. So you're keeping on making it better and better. Exactly. That's exactly right. Noah, do you want to add anything to that? I think it's like you don't stop improving. You carry on. That's right. You keep improving. James, what do you want to add to that? I think it's if you have something, you keep on in putting more improvement on it. If you had a car, you could add monster wheels or missiles to it. <laughs> yeah, you could, James. That's That would be continually improving a car, adding missiles to it. Chloe, what do you want to add? I think it's if something doesn't work, yeah. in your thing then you improve it and then if someone keeps on coming over to you and being like no this doesn't work then you keep on improving it until it's perfect that's exactly right and the reason we talk about continuous improvements is sometimes people can get so stressed trying to make everything perfect all at once and in reality that's not what you need to do so for today's lesson you're going to need a paper and just a piece of paper remember the rules of biz kids are there is absolutely no such thing as a silly idea we're going to talk about one major project that product that has continually improved over time and then you guys are going to have the challenge of thinking about about how to improve that product further. So as you've said, we've just talked about continuous improvement and, it, and you've nailed it exactly in terms of what it means, in terms of always keeping going, progressing things over time. So what do you think we could mean, but continuous improvement could mean from the point of view of a business? So if you think about businesses you guys go to, like your favorite cafe, how can they continually improve? William, what do you think? You got your hand up. Yeah, I think maybe continuous improvement in businesses could be, let's say they they had a product and they released it and it was like a really big product. Yeah. And then they released another one and it was really bad. It didn't sell much. And then it yeah. they learn from what they did wrong and then they carry on trying. That's exactly right. Great answer, William. Noah, what do you think in a business that's continuous improvement could mean? If you make something and you don't sell it for a lot, you carry on making it better and better. Yeah, that's right. So you don't give up. You just keep making things better and better. James, what do you think? I think if you have maybe in like a, ca in a cafe, you only have maybe to drink water and orange juice. You could get water, orange juice, and more drinks. Just them too. People might right. not like it. That's true. You don't want to just be serving water and orange juice, do you? You can get more drinks into your cafe and continually improve your range. Harley, what do you think? So I think, like, for business, like, on continuous improvement, say if you had a business and it was, like, not really selling, but then you saw this, like, place where you could base your business and it's so it's not just floating around so like people can actually come there and things like that and like totally, Harley. great really good answer so you're basically saying you can improve where you're located so people can find you more easily yeah. so exactly what you said you can improve your product you can improve the way a business does things so that it saves money and you can improve the way it provides a service to its customer. So it's always important to look at ways of continually improving what you're doing. And do you know what, guys, this isn't just true in business. This is true in schoolwork, in anything, like any of the things you have to do. You can always slowly over time continuously improve. You don't have to get it perfect at once, but you over time continuously improve. So if we continue, say we're a business or we're, or any of you guys say you're trying to sell stuff on eBay and you continuously improve, then basically 
some of the advantages it has to you is it helps people come back for more because they'll think, oh, they've always got something new. And it means that when you get competitors coming or someone trying to do what you're doing, you can beat them because you're the one who's improving. Now, this is the exciting part. Who has a phone here? I've got one, two, three. Quite a lot of your phones. Do you know what? Me and Annie have this conversation all the time of what is the right age to get a phone? What do you guys think is the right age to get a phone? Sophia, what do you think? Oh, you're on the eight. About 10. 10, okay. Harris, what do you think? I'd say my age, 11. 11, okay. Chloe, what do you think? I think 12. 12, okay. Annalise, Annie, what do you think? I think 10. You think 10, okay. Lila, what do you think? I think maybe like when you start walking home from school because then you need a phone in case you get lost. That's definitely true. As soon as you start walking from school, it's a good idea to have a phone. James, what do you think? When you're at nine. When you're nine, you think it's the right age? No, I thought you guys have phone and he's nine. Yeah, and has got a phone. Too. Harley, what do you think? It's really interesting to hear your views about when's the right age to get a phone. Um, Harley, what do you think? I think probably like 11, but my parents will never get one till I'm 14. Your parents said you can't. Do you know what? We've got people on TikTok saying nine's the right age. Seven or eight, someone's saying 21. <laughs> my <laughs> mum got a phone at 21. Seven. Well, that's probably because, James, in, my, in our age, in the olden days, we couldn't get phones before we were 21 because they didn't exist. So generally, so it's a very controversial subject of when's the right age to get a phone. And that's not what we're here to discuss today, but it is interesting to hear your views. What we are here to discuss and talk about is the iPhone because do you know what's amazing about this product is it's a brilliant example of a product that has been continually improved. So before we get on to how we can improve the iPhone further, we're just going to run through a quick history of the iPhone. Now, the very first iPhone came out in 2000. Are you laughing at that picture? <laughs> yeah. <Are you? laughs> in 2007, none of you were even born in 2007, were you? No. No, I was. no James, you were not born in 2007. <laughs> Who thinks that phone there looks a little bit basic? <laughs> All of you. When I first saw the first iPhone, I thought it was the most unbelievable thing I'd ever seen and it was the best thing ever. We've come a long way since then. So all it had was a very small camera and it looked like this. So the iPhone 4 came out in 2010 and what did they improve on this? Who knows what, they, what Apple improved on this iPhone 4? William, what did they improve? They improved the storage. Yeah. They didn't improve the screen display, but they had a five me megapixel camera, which is very, that's, I don't know. Huh? That's like looking at a old fashioned movie because they, it, it was very, they were very small, which made them very, the cameras were tiny. So you can, it was just like small pixels. I know, but we thought at the time that a five megapixel camera was amazing. And, but now maybe it is a bit like looking at a very old movie. Sophia, what else do you think was yeah, improving? The cameras were not good on the old phones. It looks a bit better. It looks a little bit better, exactly. So we've got an iPhone have gone on a really long journey. Then came out this one and we can basically start to see what they're improving. You see how they're making the phone better every time they Oh, I don't know. I think it's this one here. So this, the iPhone, they basically include, improve the storage. Camera. The next iPhone, what did they improve on this one? The sound. The thickness, the sound. Lila, is that the iPhone you've got? No, this isn't my real phone, but I used to have it. And it's the iPhone 5. Oh, so you've actually got the phone in question that we're talking about now. So this phone, what? who can see what they improved on this phone? I've got two. Lila, you've got two phones. You're doing well. No, but what did they improve on this phone? The screen. The screen, exactly. Millie, what did they improve on this phone? I can said the screen. The screen, okay, great. Okay, then we came to the five, iPhone 5S. 
where they basically added the touch button. See that one coming in and slow motion video. Did the last one not have the touch button? I don't think so. I hope not, because if so, I've got my, if it didn't, I've got my, let's check. Shall we see if I got it right? No, it didn't. It had a push button there. Then it came to the touch button. And how did you like turn it on if there was no button? You had to push it. It was like a clicking, bu clicking button that you stood it in. Oh. A bit like more like an not quite like an on-off switch, but more like an on-off switch. Okay, so then they're thinking again, how are we going to improve this product even more? And they're thinking, let's make it give it more storage and a bigger screen and make it slimmer. <coughs> iPhone 7, they're thinking, let's improve the camera, let's make it brighter. Let's I don't give like those cameras. How what's that? What's that, James? I don't like those phones. Well, you don't like this one, the iPhone 7? No. Why I have not? the iPhone 7 Plus. You've got the iPhone. James, why don't you like the iPhone 7? It's like the screen's really bad. How do you guys even know? They honestly all look the same to me. It's you just guys the background. I think that's the actual. Yeah. The background. Okay. So you imagine every year at Apple, they keep improving it. The iPhone 8, look how much it's got a lot more memory. That's and what I've got camera that's the one you've got then we've got the iphone x that it's was the when biggest it your face. Got that. can i move what this yeah. oh, okay but i need to that's see everyone that's your favorite one the iphone x is that the one i've got and no you've got an iphone 13 okay i don't even know what i've got then came the 11 pro and the pro max and you can see again all the time they're just really making the cameras bigger and better uh, then we have the 12 and the 12 mini, and this one had more protection so that it was harder to break and harder to damage. And it had a connection to our 5G network, which is a new network. Then we have the iPhone 13, more cameras, more battery. It lasts probably forever, the battery power. You have it. Does it last forever? My mum's got that Does one. It last forever? And then we had the iPhone 14 and Pro Max come out with the launch of an even better camera. But I don't think I Apple have been that one. creative in what they've done. So all the time, can you see how they're continually improving that product? And that basically makes people want to get it and it makes the product better and it keeps us loyal. When I get a phone, it will be an iPhone. Which one, James? An iPhone. 18 or an iPhone 17. So our challenge, oh sorry, no, go ahead. My mum's going to give me her iPhone 13, but by the time I get it, there's going to be like an iPhone 15 out. Yeah. yeah, that is the issue, isn't it? Is it yeah. changes all the time. So you think the iPhone 13 is good, then you realise it's not that good. Sophia, what do you think? The last few iPhones from like the iPhone... 12, from the iPhone 9 to the iPhone 14, they've not actually changed as much from 1 to 9, 1 to 8. Camera but likes I, just, the camera like says, stays in the same design. They so I really think run out of ideas. I think my my ideas. mom's got an iPhone 14 and my dad's got an iPhone 12 and they look really similar. And then compared to my one, it looks really rubbish. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay so our challenge for the day for the day and this is good because i think they are very similar and we can maybe send our ideas in if we are going to think about the iphone 16 and maybe even james's iphone 18 that he's going to get and in the spirit of continuous improvement what i'd like you to do is using your worksheet or blank piece of paper Draw out your iPhone and remember there's no such thing as a silly idea and write down all the bullet points that you will do to improve this, to take it to the next level, okay? So we're just going to spend five minutes with you guys focusing on that and then we're going crazy. to share our ideas. What's that? Can it be sort of like crazy? It like can that? be crazy. It can be whatever you want. Whatever you want. All we're trying to do is improve this product. My and mine was missiles. You can do yours with missiles, James. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> we can then afterwards send them to Apple. Should we do that? We'll send all our ideas to Apple. Okay, so let's just do a bit of thinking. It's quiet.
Are you also go wait? Can it be mad, like ridiculous? Because that's what a normal one looks like. Yes, it definitely can be mad and ridiculous. Because I think that Apple have been giving us quite sensible ideas, haven't they? All they've done is, and I hate to run down one of the world's most successful products, but they just keep improving the camera, the memory, and the screen. So I want to see what you guys come up with. But these ones, earlier when I came back from school, it was on 70. Now it's on four, and if we've not really been on it, it just goes down and goes down really quickly. That must be an old iPhone, Sophia, then, if it's going down it's like that. iPhone 7. Yeah, that's quite old now, isn't it? I have an iPhone and then this is it. Do we do it with the apps on the front? Should we? It's up to you guys. You can draw it from the front or the back, however you want to draw it. And don't worry if you don't think you're the best artist in the world, because <laughs> the point is just to come up with some ideas. Can I show you? You can start showing yours if you want, but not now. You can show yours in a minute. No, you can write your bullet points. How do you think you're going to? So don't forget, guys, I want to see a picture of your phone. There's no such thing as a silly idea. So any way to improve the phone. And what would you guys want to see from this product? And then some bullet points. Can we put something on the phone that's already been on the phone? So like, can we put back the home button on it? Yes, you There's can. Button, button, yeah, yeah. If you think something's come off the phone that should be back on, then put it on. Because what I think we'll do is afterwards, I'll send all our ideas to Apple. You never know, they might put them in their next phone. So I'm just going to go on mute while you guys carry on with this. And we'll be sharing our ideas in about, in about five minutes, guys. Okay? I do like my iPhone that I designed. It's on the back, it's on the front. Looks like in the inside. So there's two phones on the thing. Two phones? Like a flip open phone. Yeah. But like it's like what two, it's not like just one phone. It's like I know that a flip phone's already been made up, but, but it's like one of the phones where you open up, but it's got two separate phones. So like it still doesn't take up the storage. Okay, guys, three more minutes, and then we're gonna start sharing. Okay, so in a minute, I'm gonna see who wants to go first with sharing their ideas for the iPhone. Who would like to go? Let me just see what our yeah. You don't need to share your ideas yet. Who would like to go first and share their ideas as to how we're going to improve this iPhone? Have you got your hand up? Okay, uh, tell us what yeah. you've got. Okay, so basically, I've got um, I've got this like phone, and you can get a customized and uh, like, not case, but like you can customize your phone, and then yeah. it's got one. It's got six cameras, just to make six it a bit. Cameras. More. And then there's the SIM card holder. Yeah. Here there's like the charging cable and like headphone thing. And then if you buy a phone case from Apple, you get a discount on your phone. Brilliant, Lila. That's great. So what's the main thing you've improved? You've added the number of cameras. We've now got six cameras on your iPhone. Yeah. Great. That's a brilliant idea. Okay, William, let's, do you want to share what you've got? Yeah, mine's not creative as Lila's and I did it on my iPad. Wow, well, William, that's advanced. So what have you got there? Show us. Can what you it... see it? Other. Yeah. What, William, how have you drawn that? Is that some sort of graphic design program? Yeah, I, I got a base photo and then I drew around it and stuff. Wow, that is advanced. Okay, so what have you done on your iPhone then to continually improve? Well, mine has, mine has six cameras as well. Yeah. It has a storage of 300 megabytes. Yeah. And it, I think, it, you can, it has, I know it's a bit weird in that kind of sense, but like it's got a kind of, I, I can't really explain it, but it's a bit, as in every number, if you can see on that keypad, every number. Yeah. Yeah. Means a certain thing. Every so number reveals something. Yeah. What so sort of thing does it reveal? It just, you can, it gives you like this every day, it gives you like this task. And you can, on the, because there's an Apple shop, if yeah. you manage to figure out, it gives you like, it gives you like a, riddle in a way this very hard riddle and you have to put all the digits are different words and you have to put them all together to create the sentence that it means and then you get like discounts on the apple store 
start. Brilliant. So William, you're basically saying your iPhone in a continuous improvement is giving you intellectual challenges every day that you can complete to help your own sort of thinking power. And then you yeah. can win things from the Apple store, you get credits. It's a bit like Wordle, just like a bit like Wordle, William, that is a great idea. People would love that. It's become like the most popular game in the world. Yeah. So you've got an integrated intellectual riddle challenge like Wordle. I love that as an idea, William. Well done. That's brilliant. Okay. Who wants to go next? Annalise, you go next. Okay. But mine's like really crazy. Go on then. Yeah. Nothing's crazy. Remember, there's no such thing as a bad idea. Mine has... Weird. Mine has nine cameras <laughs> and five home button and it's a fold up phone there's already there there is already a fold, fold up phone for it yeah and it's then, not an iphone the fold up phone is it no but and then so it has 350 megabytes and if first month you get a free data oh, oh do you? it has loads of storage and five bins just in case it's your bin gets full in what five five places to get rid yeah, of things? Get rid of stuff. So you guys all want more cameras on the iPhone. What are you going to do with all these cameras? <laughs> I don't. I just went crazy, literally. You went crazy. Okay, great, great thinking, James. What have you got? Have you got missiles on your iPhone? No. So you can have your personal personalized iPhone. You can have every single game in one box. You can have the date, the time, the power. Bet a better camera to design the iPhone, charge headphone socket, and a ton of apps, yeah. What happened to the missiles? I don't want them. <laughs> you didn't want them. Okay. So, James, what are the main features you've improved in continuous improvement? You've improved the interface, haven't you? So it's much easier. Yeah. You've, got less, but you've basically made it so that you can get more through each button on your phone. Is but, that what you've and I had a square home button. You had the square home button. Okay, amazing. Great thinking. Okay, Millie, what have you got? Mine's crazy as well. There's I no such thing as silly ideas, guys, remember. Go ahead, Millie, what have you got? One of the main things is a jacket so if you drop it then it's padded oh i love that millie that's a great drawing did you see that guys hold it up again so everyone can see millie look the phone's wearing a jacket a padded jacket oh. millie that is a brilliant drawing very good art thank you and i did that there's a really big speaker and there's oh. a pencil on the side like an apple pencil brilliant so basically millie's put on a big speaker is that so you can have parties yeah, so she's got her phone in a jacket. I love these ideas. A big speaker and an Apple Pencil. And one of the main things is if you drop it, there's like a hover thing at the bottom. Oh, that is brilliant. That, so basically before it hits the ground, it starts hovering away from the ground. Yeah. Those are fantastic ideas. Who would love that where the iPhone starts hovering? Who's ever broken an iPhone? I've broken an iPad. You've broken I an iPad. I've broken both of my mums. You've broken both. At my dad's warehouse, uh, my dad's part, the person who my dad's been working for the longest, Louise, smashed her phone on the stone floor. Another thing it's quite easy to do is drop a phone down the toilet. And at that point, <gasps> at that point, Millie, your hovering thing would be extremely useful. Okay, Louis, do you want to share your iPhone ideas? So basically what I did, I gave it with like, I did on my iPad as well. Oh yeah. So I basically, I gave it four cameras, but the bottom two are sideways. So it's like a parallelogram. Oh, that's a good idea. But then that's it gives it like idea. more room. I also gave it, there's this thing called dynamic touch. Yeah. So where it's the touch and you can tap the back of your phone and it will do something. And I added a little hole for that because I got it on my dad's phone. And he has like a case on it, and I always find it really hard to do it. So, like a like a place for that. So right. when you make cases, it will have room for that. I also added like on the front. I also added like one a lens in each corner, so like it's it will be more head on. Great. So you basically... also wherever you're looking, it will be like at the camera. Oh, Louis, you want to get yourself a job in Apple. These yeah, are I, I'm into Apple a lot. I, yeah. And also I gave it two terabytes of storage because on the other phones you can already get one terabyte. 
but I'm not sure about two terabytes. Okay, so we're upping the storage. By the I, way, I'm right. I, I forgot to do some. I forgot to say if uh if this person tries to log in your phone and it's already on, they can't get in because it has to be your but your face. I password ID and finger to log in. And even and if you even if you just put it down for one second and you're not using it or a few seconds, it'll go off. Wow, so you're upping the security. I think we're gonna come up with a very good device here. Who wants to go next? Sophia, what have you got? So I've got sorry, I've just so I've got a, that's my what my phone looks like from the front and the back. Oh yeah, okay, great. And so I've got more storage. I've got like a little pen, so you can not the phone case, but under the phone case, so you can design what you want on it. And then I've done it's waterproof. Oh yeah, that's a good. That's great, waterproof. Oh, um, you ha it has to be your thumb, so you can go in. So if you just touch oh, it, yeah. it's from your thumbprint. Yeah. And I also did uh, five cameras and has and a built-in fan, so your phone doesn't go warm. A built-in fan. Oh, wait, Sophia, I thought you were going to say a built-in fan so it could fan you if you got too hot. <laughs> no, because like, you know when you go on your phone, it's fan and it goes hot. So yeah. it has a fan so it doesn't go warm. So you're stopping the phones from overheating a bit more. Mm. Okay, great. Noah, what have you got? So I've drawn my phone on paper. Yeah. And this phone, basically what happens is it never runs out of battery, so you can always just use it. That would be so good. Never-ending battery. Three days. And, like, you can take a picture and you can do whatever you want to the background or to the person, like, whatever you want. So you mean better editing without having to get any apps or any filters? Yeah. Filters. Okay, built-in filters, great. That's all. Great, well done, Noah. Honestly, the list we've got here is insane, guys. When I read it back to you, you will not believe it. Katie, have you got your hand up? What have so, you got? I put that the phone will have AI sensors through the camera so it can see, like, how you're feeling. And then if you're, like, sad, it will do something to cheer you up. Or if you're, like, bored, it will give you, like, an activity to make you not bored anymore. That and is then, amazing, Katie. That's a brilliant idea. I did. I put that if you set an alarm like in the morning, you have to complete a task to get it to turn off. So you can't like keep it going. So, Katie, you mean if you set your alarm and you complete the task, say make your bed, then the alarm will keep going until you've made your bed. Yeah. Katie, you're going to get people very busy and active <laughs> doing tasks if you put in alarms like that. Those are brilliant ideas. Have you got any others, Katie? No. Okay, all right, amazing. And then who still hasn't shared their ideas and wants to? Harley, what have you got? So I got two actually, but I'm just gonna say one. So one of them is where like you open it up and, and it's like a hologram comes up. So like you can, and it's on the back of the phone, it's got a pencil. So if an Apple pencil, and if you like, you can write in the air and things like that, if you need to do work or something. And it's got, and yeah. But then also my other one, it's like glasses, but they're two phones in front of your eyes. And it tells you like the time in one corner and like what the objects are and like how long they are and things like that. Wow, those are great ideas as well. And I think those sorts of glasses are coming. Really? Facebook already made some glasses, and I think there's other glasses going to be coming with those sorts of things. Yeah. So that's technology you guys yeah. are probably going to see quite soon. And some of your ideas are, and I probably haven't remembered them all, but I've been writing them down. The iPhone hovers when you drop it so that you don't break it. It wears a jacket for extra protection. It folds in half. It has dynamic touch. It has a never-ending battery and is always on 100%. It's got six cameras and side cameras so that it can film sideways as well. It also has four cameras on the front so that it's always looking straight at you. Two terabytes of storage. It comes with a pen. It's waterproof. It's got a built-in fan. It comes with 3D glasses. And if you order, I think this is my favorite one. If you order what you're ordering. So Chloe, you're basically saying if I order something from Amazon, it's gonna come through my phone. 
Yeah, you could just pick it out of your phone. Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. I don't know if it ever possible. Mm -hmm. When you order, you pick it out of your phone. Now, if you guys were going to suggest three ideas for Apple to put in their next phone in their pursuit of continuous improvement, which ones would you suggest? I know. Which ones, James? All would you suggest what your favourite? Uh, it's all in one. Yeah. Personal name and password ID. Not personal name, square home button, password ID, finger. Yes, you, you want the square home button. Lila, what would you suggest? Three, your favourite ones from everybody's ideas. I would probably say the, what's called, the waterproof one because the amount of times I've almost dropped my phone in the bath is impeccable. Okay, so you want waterproof. William, what would you say? I was going to say, I like Chloe's one about picking out stuff from the phone. I love yeah. that the idea. Of and... <laughs> Yeah, also, okay. I like the hovering phone. Yeah, and the, I like the and the two terabytes of data. Like, that would be a lot. That would be a lot. And Lise, what are your favourites? I would wait. I I only showed just one. Yeah, which one? I like Katie's one, like the tasks one. Oh yeah, no, I like the tasks. I didn't mention that. That was really good. Because I get quite bored a lot, so it'll give me activities to do. Oh, the other idea which was really good, which I didn't mention, was the mental health technology. So the iPhone reads your mood through your eyes. And, yeah. and actually it yeah. gives you, if you're sad, it makes you happy. If you're bored, it gives you something to do. So there's, that's a really great idea. Uh, no, but what are your favourite ideas? I also like Katie's because I'm usually bored. So if I get a task to do, I'll really be focusing on it. So remember, guys, we've, I'm going to take the best ideas and I'm going to find a way to send them to Apple. Now, we've been learning about continuous improvement today and the idea that you can gradually improve whatever it is you're trying to do. All right, guys, amazing work today. Well done.